Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Gorilla's SAQ Math 2C course. This is Steven Choi. So, we are, today we are going to start with the practice test number one, with the question number one. Let's start right away. The question number one says, the greatest common divisor of 36, 72, and 90 is, okay, this is probably the easiest question, number one through 15, right? Uh, we are given 36, 72, and 90. Let's factor this. It is. It can be written as two uh, to the second times three to the second. Uh, Seventy-two is two to the third times three to the second. What about ninety? It is three to the second times ten, which is two times five. So, in this, let's find the common factor, which is uh, three to the second is everywhere, right? Three to the second. And I see also two is everywhere. 2, just 2, not 2 to the second or 2 to the third, just 2 times 2. Okay, this is our greatest common divisor, which is 18, right? Therefore, uh, the answer got to be 18B is the correct answer, right? Easy. Okay, let's move on to number 2. If f and x is ax squared plus bx plus c is concave downward, this is basic. It says concave downward. Which element should be less than zero? Right, a got to be less than zero. Therefore, answer is a. When a is greater than zero, then it, the graph will be concave upward, right? Concave upward. Everybody knows this. Okay, so let's move on to number three. Given that the set of data is a geometric sequence, what is the sixth term? Let's rewrite this, a, a, uh, 486. 162 and 54. It divides by 1 over 3, right? It decreases by 1 over 3. Therefore, let's just do it. Uh, divide this by 3, uh, we get 1 8, right? Divide by 3, we get 6. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth term. The question is asking you the 4 to 6th term, right? 6th term. Divide by 1 over 3, we get 2, right? Therefore, the correct answer for the number 3 got to be 2. B is our correct answer. Okay, number 4. In the figure below, the length of H is... So we are given a triangle, and we are looking for the H of this triangle, right? What value should we use? Right, sine. The sine 61 degree is equal to h over 8, right? Simple. Just put in your calculator, sine 61 times 8, right? Times 8. You'll find h. The value got to be 7. C is our correct answer. Okay, let's move on to number 5. If f and x is equal to a x plus 1 over x squared minus x minus 30, the vertical asymptote of the f and x is, when we are given, when we are um, asked to find the vertical asymptote in this kind of function, what should we do? Whatever makes denominator 0 will be a vertical asymptote, right? So let's do that. x squared minus x minus 30 is equal to 0. Factor this. x plus 5 times x minus 6 is equal to 0, therefore, um, this, the solution for this is x is either negative 5 or what? 6, right? So when x is equal to negative 5 or 6, it will have the vertical asymptote. Why? Because that will make the denominator 0, right? Therefore, c is our correct answer. Okay, let's move on to number 6. Number 6 says, if f and x is 2 cosine x and gx is x squared, x to the fourth minus 2, then the value of this combination of g and f function is, okay, so let's start by one by one, f and x function is 2 cosine x, right, and we're looking for uh, f pi over 6, which is 2 cosine pi over 6, right, which is 2 times uh, square root of 3 over 2, cancels out, we are left with square root of 3, right? Square root of 3. So, uh, let's put uh, square root of 3 in place of g function, gx function. If you do that,